way, guys. Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury, and Paul Pluto Channels, your premium destination for wristwatch content. Today, I'd like to show you what happens to a good luxury brand when the investment bankers take over. So, what's happened to Breitling? Breitling sold out to a private equity firm, basically hedge fund managers, uh, bankers, fat cats, fat cat bankers. Obviously, these fat cat bankers, they've used other people's money to buy this group. And uh, what happens when greed meets luxury watches? Well, this is what they're doing to Breitling. I'd like to present the, uh, the Breitling cult. And uh, I got to tell you the truth there. What the, what the fuck was Breitling thinking? Introducing a discount, discount Breitling watch. I mean, this retails for $2,700 Australian. What's that? Low twos US. I mean, Breitling, what the fuck are you doing? This is what happens when greedy investment bankers take over a luxury brand. They want to get cash. They want to cash in the cachet so they can get a return on investment. And uh, i got to be completely frank with you. Breitling... At the uh, at the hands of these nasty bankers is really going. They're really going the wrong fucking way, and uh, this is just a cheap, nasty piece of shit. This is a nasty piece of shit, bankers. And I got to be completely honest with you. Breitling had had uh, accepted a partnership with Rolex. That's right, Rolexes. Uh, sister brand Tudor. So uh, they did a movement swap. Breitling provided the B01 movement and Tudor provided the MT, that's right, the MT5612 um, and the uh, also the no date version of that movement. And uh, I got to tell you, Tudor, that's i.e. Rolex, Rolex's trendier side, thought that Breitling was cool, hip, and happening. That's right. So, um, you know, they, 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 Breitling is doing things right. I mean, to go into a partnership with, essentially, Rolex is a pretty damn amazing achievement. And uh, i got to tell you the honest truth. It's just fucking crazy when these stupid, greedy, fucking investment bankers, these fucking investment fools... Come out and start spruiking and start fucking up the formula. I mean, releasing a piece of fucking black plastic shit as a luxury watch, man. Do you fuckers have no sense? Do you fuckers have no sense when it comes to brand management? Do you want to lose all the money you've put in? Oh, that's right. It's not your money. It's other people's money. And uh, I, I, I just, I'm absolutely shocked with what Breitling has been up to. They were admired by Rolex. Rolex thought they were good enough to form a partnership. So they sell out to the investment bankers. And the investment bankers, well, i got to tell you the truth. That may work. You may fuck over the American taxpayer, the Fannie Mays of this world. You may fuck over... The, uh, the American mortgage consumer, but you don't fuck over the luxury watch market. That's right. I'm, I'm predicting bad things. Bad things are going to happen to, um, bad things are going to happen to Breitling because they're a bunch of fucking morons. These investment bankers, it's, uh, yeah, I gotta tell you guys, I think you're fucking stupid. The only thing more stupid than releasing a budget price, um, br budget price Breitling would be to, uh, fuck with the Navi timer. Yeah, that'd be the most stupid thing if you fucked with the Navi timer. And the only thing. I think uh, these investment bankers could do worse would be to... That's right, it's just hit the press, all the wristwatch press, um, would be to muck around with that Navi timer, the icon of 
the range. And uh, sure enough, that's exactly what Breitling's done. And this has happened under the new command, the investment bankers. They want to return on investment. They don't want to be mucked around. No, no, Mr. Wall Street, Mr. Wall Street. We want to return. We want to return. We want a very, very quick return. So they have redone, completely redone, the Breitling Navi timer itself there and uh, I gotta tell you there itself it's uh, what do you say when when Breitling does such a thing it's uh, I think it's I think it's kind of um, I think it's kind of dumb that's what I think I think what Breitling is doing is very very dangerous it's dangerous and uh, you know, I got to be honest with you. I really, I've I've come into the Breitling brand, and it's the traditional Navi timer. That's the one that I I really do love. It's the traditional Navi timer. I don't mind the Navi timer GMT. I don't mind the Navi timer. Uh, you know the different variations that they've they've done there. But why would you stuff up? something so iconic that's what I want to know and I, I really I think the two classics in the the Breitling range are the Super Ocean Super Ocean 2 and the the Navi timer so um, I I wait with bated breath but this is just absolutely shocking hi guys a fan of mine has been inspired to start a wristwatch series of his own Bitter Poet Madman. That's the name of his channel. And the show is called It's Complicated. That's right. It's Complicated. It looks like he has some nice examples. I saw he has a Rolex. Rolex! He recently just got an Omega. He talks watch accessories, does reviews, unboxings and talks about new and pre-owned wristwatches. Again, the channel name is Bitter Poet Madman. Bitter Poet Madman. So why don't you fuckers let that fucker know what you think of that. Bitter Poet Madman channel to me on Patreon that allows you to send a small monthly amount to me every month. It can be a dollar, it can be a hundred dollars, whatever you can afford. The next way you can help me is, well guys, I, I really need some money to keep things going. Paid reviews. On the Paul Pluto channel, I run paid reviews. For as little as 20 US dollars, I'll give you an opinion of your collection, of what you're looking at, I'll try and answer. There's heaps of other ways you can help me. I do telephone consultancy. For 50 US dollars, I will talk to you on Skype or WhatsApp and answer your horological or personal problems. Any questions, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. Now guys, please help us out. Look down below and if you, if you, if you could help us out, I will stay here and make videos full time on YouTube.